Cruise News time. But look, I remember when my kids were little, we'd stumble across a restaurant that's got kids eat free. You buy a couple adult meals and then you get all the corn dogs and mac and cheese and fruit punch that you can jam in your little kids' mouths and it didn't cost you anything. That felt like a real win when we were younger parents. But dig this. There's a cruise line out there, not the one I would have thought, there's a cruise line out there where kids are gonna be able to cruise for free. Where's that at? Do you think I can get my 20 year old to say he's seven? That would be dishonest. And anyways, and, and more importantly, look, the serious topic here, are carnival cruisers the worst cruisers? Just the lowest of the low, the worst people ever, the worst clientele. Does carnival have a people problem because they're the worst? Some say yes. Cruise news. Let's talk about it. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to La Lido Loca. I'm your host, Tony, here with the latest cruise news updates. Well, happy Sunday, November the 7th, 2021. The first day of the week or the last day of the week. It'd be interesting. Do you consider Sunday the first day of the week or the last day of the week? That's an interesting conversation, at least interesting to me. Uh, leave a comment below. How about that? Uh, but look, I'm back. I'm back here at home for a little bit. Whew, that's a mystery. For a little bit, uh, ready to talk cruise news. And I got a couple interesting stories I want to go right at today. One of them comes from the headlines. And the other one comes from the community. It comes from some comments out there that uh, that are troubling. Uh, so, but first, let's talk about the story from the headlines. Let's talk about uh, a cruise line that's not necessarily known for kids, I don't think, uh, are now going to be offering free cruises for kids. That's right, Holland America Line, uh, kind of uh, opening the door now that kids under 12 can get vaccinated, opening the door for some family cruising by offering some free cruises for kids. Now, the way the deal works is very much like when you went to Denny's or Applebee's or wherever you got your kids eat free, you, you got to have parents that are eating the meal. So if you got the uh, passenger one, passenger two, full paying passengers, then you can get passenger three and passenger four for free if passenger three and passenger four are children between the age of five and seven. It seems very specific. So if your family dynamic right now is you and somebody you cruise with, and then a five to seven year old, two of them or one of them, you can go for free. Now, it brings up a lot of interesting ideas. Is Holland America for kids? Uh, recently, I've been talking about going on Holland America. I want to try it out. A lot of people like got to try out Holland America. And uh, I'm excited that there's some good news coming out from Holland with the new ship uh, making, making waves this week. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, the new ship on the water, I'm ready to get on that cruise ship. But every time I talk about going on Holland, uh, I always run into a group of people that say, well, Holland's for an older clientele. Uh, it closes down early. It's not necessarily for families. I don't know if that's true. So I would love to hear some feedback in the comments. Are you a family? Do you cruise on how? Uh, does this excite you that you could be taking your kids on the cruise line for free? Again, this comes about because now children in the U.S. under 12 can get vaccinated. I think you're going to see more and more promotions coming out from the cruise line, encouraging families to return to cruising. It's pretty exciting. Uh, like I said, uh, maybe I can convince one of my 20-somethings to uh, to put on some short pants and say that they're seven. I don't think it'll work. Uh, now, that's, that's ripped from the headlines. Now I got a conversation from the comments that I'm sure are gonna make some people mad. So before I get there, let me quickly invite you to subscribe with the notification bell on if you like staying up to date with everything that's going on in carousing. I'm here doing it almost every day. Can you believe I took a three-day break? I think it. I think you have to go all the way back to like 2018 to see a three-day break. It, it was okay, but it was not. At the same time, I was bummed out because I like to upload every day. I'm a daily uploader, but I was having a great time on the Mardi Gras. What are you going to do? You got to take a day off every once in a while. Today's episode brought to you by Starbucks Coffee. Mm. Not a sponsor, but my email's in the... Uh, Description if you want to sponsor the show. Let me crunch my eyes. You guys crunch your eyes? All right. So yesterday we talked about the mask challenges on Carnival. Now the reason that that video is called Carnival has a mask problem question mark is because I was on Carnival when I made that video. Uh, but I could have said that on every cruise line. The major point of the video yesterday, for those who didn't get it, 
pulling close. It wasn't really a conversation about the effectiveness or the reasonableness of wearing a mask. That's a discussion for somewhere else. Again, let me remind you, none of us are setting the masking policy on cruise ships. The only thing that we can do as cruisers is decide whether or not we are going to cruise right now. And then the other decision point is, will we follow the health protocols or will we ignore them? And so the conversation was really about what's the responsible thing to do uh, to buck the system, to say, I'm not following your stupid rules, even though I'm going to use your service and I'm going to sign that I will uh, do the things that you asked me to do, even though I'm giving you my word, I'm going to go back on my word. I'm going to be that person. I'm going to go back on my word and not follow the health protocols or, or you're going to follow the health protocols. That's what the conversation was about that yesterday. I think you know where I stand. I think if you uh, give your word that you're gonna follow the health protocols, you know what you should do? You should do your best to follow the health protocols, regardless of what they are. Or if you're that much into like, these protocols are idiotic or moronic or immoral or unethical, then get yourself on the cruise ship and paint yourself a big sign and walk around, like really do something. Don't sneak around like kids who are getting away with something. Well, we had that discussion yesterday, no need to rehash it. But uh, in the comments yesterday, I got some of my favorite things. Anytime you post an article about Carnival, there's at least, uh, I don't know, 10 or 15 people out there that are like, well, you know the reason that it's like that is because the people on Carnival are the worst cruisers. They're the worst clientele. They're the lowest of the low. Ex yes, you can expect that on Carnival because that's the way the people are. Really, are we still doing this? Do you know who is a, a representation of Carnival clientele? Me. I mean, are you trying to be offensive? Are you trying to offend me? Are you trying to say something to me that I'm some sort of a bad person because I cruise on Carnival? It's ridiculous. It is completely ridiculous. And let me just set the record straight. This year, I've cruised on Royal Caribbean. I've cruised on MSC. I've cruised on Celebrity. I have cruised on Carnival. I've cruised on Princess. And guess what? On every one of those cruise lines, there were people violating the health policies. Oh, shocker, clutch my pearls. It's not just a carnival problem. The problem with people that don't like carnival people is they're so wrapped up in trying to feel better uh, than other people to feel better about themselves that they can't just help but crap on other people. We are all cruisers. We all share that common bond of going on a cruise. There are different cruise lines for different things. There are cruise lines for people who like to party. There's cruise lines for people that like to chill. There's cruise lines for people that like good food. There's cruise lines for people that like to do activities. It doesn't make one cruise line better than the other. It doesn't make one cruiser better than the other. For goodness sakes, quit trying to find an enemy to make yourself feel better about yourself. We're all cruisers. We all pay our money. We all go have a good time. You can, you can find something wrong with every cruise line. Well, it seems like all the fights are on Carnival. No, they're not. Go look through it. Search Google. Uh, oh, you know, the dude that jumped off a cruise ship. Was that a carnival guy? No, that was a Royal Caribbean cruise ship. It, it... Maybe it's because I just got off a cruise and I just got off of an environment where 4,400 people had a great time trying to be reintroduced to that cruise life, seeing some of the best entertainment I've seen at sea, uh, hanging out with the local fam, uh, connecting with new people, doing my best to meet everybody on the cruise ship. And it, it, it really annoys me. It really annoys me when people want to look down their nose at other people. Everybody on that cruise ship paid to be there. And just because you cruise on Carnival, it doesn't make you any better or any worse than anybody else. And that goes true, insert any cruise line. And look, let me just also say this about the comments. Since I'm at this place in my mindset, uh, if your goal in the community, in the comments, is to persuade people to your ideas, persuade people to your way of thinking, to convert the masses as it were, to use your influence in the comments, to get people to believe the same way that you do. It's never gonna work when you insult people. As soon as you start insulting people by name calling, by belittling, by uh, putting them down, as soon as you do that, you've lost them. So e there's either two things that are true. You don't care 
about the people that you're trying to influence or you're not trying to influence people. You just want to feel better about yourself by putting somebody else down with your insults and with your rhetoric. And the second option that comes to mind is you're just trolling. And look, some people will rightfully say, well, aren't you kind of doing that? Aren't you afraid that you're going to turn people off to your message uh, by being a little challenging uh, with this presentation right now? Yeah. I probably will turn some people off, but more importantly to me for this presentation than turning people off is uh, uh, being a leader and standing up for the people in my community. They're getting crapped on for no reason. And uh, th that's what this presentation is. So uh, look, apologies if you're offended, if you're a person that likes to crap on other people and, and now you don't like me talking about it, apologies if you're offended for that. But look, I do have a responsibility uh, to this community. A lot of people say, why do we talk about these things? Why do we talk about the comments? Well, because we are building a community here and I feel like some conversations are worth redeeming. And I feel like sometimes uh, people need to be called out a little bit. W welcome to my community. <laughs> Welcome to my space on the internet. Welcome to my comments. Somebody said yesterday, and I love the comment, uh, Preachy Tony is my least favorite Tony. And I appreciated that comment because yeah, there's a lot of Tonys out there and I understand that some will love some Tonys and some won't love other Tonys. And not everybody loves Preachy Tony, but sometimes Preachy Tony just gotta preach. Can I get an amen? Final word. If you're walking around saying uh, Carnival is the worst cruisers ever, you're wrong. You're wrong. Uh, yeah, I don't know. How, I don't even think I have to justify it. I should have just said that for the video. If you're walking around thinking that any cruiser is the worst because they cruise on any certain cruise line or any cruiser is the best because they cruise on a certain cruise line, you're just wrong. How about that? Hit the like button. All right. Leave a comment below. I don't even know what to say. What's wrong with people? How about that? Uh, are you going to cruise for free? <sighs> Thank you so much for watching the show today. Do we have fun? Thank you so much for watching the show today. Please show your support by hitting the like button or, or I'm showing up your house for Thanksgiving with a lasagna. Cause that's the way we do it at our house. Turkey be darned. I wish I could cuss on this thing sometimes. Uh, turkey be darned. How about that? It's Tony with La Lido Loca. And until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido.